just the two of us. Craig's Craig. not going goodbye. Yeah, let me just don't... check, make sure this is not blowing. Oh yeah, that's blowing directly on it. So do you want do you want to hear what I just saw on the looking at some new stuff for, for my state that makes me sad, or do you want to hear my angry rant about Acer? Why not both? Both is which, good. Which one do you want first? Sadness uh, or anger? Uh, let's go sadness, and we can uh, finish off with a hate boner. So sadness, two articles posted today on the Tennessee COVID subreddit. Um, they deployed the National Guard today to uh, UT Medical Center, as well as a few other hospitals in COVID surge areas. Um, the article goes on to detail horrible patient to staffing ratios in some cases as many as 10 to 1 Oof. Um, average it looks like there's 6 to 1 but in some zones that have surged really hard that have severe staffing shortages can get as high as 10 to 1 so National Guard deployed today mm-hmm. uh, in Tennessee and then it looks like we uh, passed Today, we passed our peak numbers for last year's winter surge and are in new uncharted territory for most like active cases. Tennessee currently is at 84,000 active cases. According to the, the data that I'm sure that they have massaged to be as small as possible. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Let's just go to my state's uh, dashboard, with it, which is amazingly still up. And they they actually were at one point only doing it on the uh, uh, every other day. They went back to uh, weekday uh, updates, so that should tell you something. Yeah. So seven day trend uh, is at eight thousand seven hundred fifty six cases in the last week. With 25 deaths. Let's just put it this way. You go to the county map. And it looks more like the autumn color uh, map uh, than anything else. There is one county that is yellow. And that is the best county in the state. All of Tennessee's counties have been red for a couple of weeks now. They're just they're getting data from from schools a lot more right now and that's when we saw a massive surge there was an article i saw a couple days ago speculating that over a third of tennessee's active cases right now were in in children because of schools and now that data is bearing out to be correct well remember the map for west virginia they massage it so that it's as good as it can be because they go Infection rate or percent positivity based on tests and take the lower of the two. Yeah. Which is utter bullshit. And for small counties, they also make it a 14 day average compared to a seven day average for larger counties. So, you know, those low numbers try to, you know, those low population counties try to keep them down as much as they can. And it's still one county yellow. A bunch uh orange, one gold because they they had to put it in a gold uh color because red was uh, far too uh easy to get to well, turns out as well right yeah yep all all of Tennessee has been red for a while now. I told you this earlier, but Craig wasn't recording, so this can be Franken content as well mm-hmm. in his infinite dumbassery, Governor Bill Lee is not allowing schools to do remote learning. Some bullshit about how our children need to be in school to learn, and they, you know, can learn, they learn better in person, and we don't need to be afraid to send our children in, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. All, you know, typical Republican religious right bullshit ass hattery. And then, so there's there's no fallback plan. There's, like, an emergency, you can, like, uh, apply for emergency... I forget what the wording is, but like, you know, basically doing remote learning, you know, on a, you can apply for it and it could be potentially given on a case by case basis. So all of these schools with huge COVID case rates, both in the the students and the faculty have just started shutting down and sending kids home 
with no plan to continue any kind of learning at all. All of I, I went and checked the email. My kid has a half a day tomorrow, so I have to take him to school in the morning. But um, the other schools or the other kids, um, you know, from from my coworkers, their kids, all of them, their schools are closed for at least tomorrow. And one of them, their school is closed indefinitely because they're, they're, in they're in a different district. And they were well, like, you know, we okay. sent all the, the kids, you know, the kids are bringing home all of their stuff. We prepared a homework packet for them. Please work on it with your children. Like my, the, my, my coworker showed me the, like the email that she got from the school. And it's, you know, yeah. school will be closed until further notice with no plans for distance learning. Yeah, go to that link I just t- uh, sent you in uh, Discord. Uh, this is the West Virginia dashboard. Yeah. Click other trends and you hit case and lab trends and take a look at that spike. Uh, where is other trends? Is it on the uh, right? In the drop down at the top. Once the dashboard actually loads, because right. Other yeah. trends, click on that under West Virginia COVID-19. West Virginia COVID-19. Other trends. Ah, other trends. Oops. Click on the wrong thing. Okay. Other trends. Hey, ASIN hey, lab trends. Yeah. Take a look at that. But tell me that's not fucking scary. That is fucking scary. I haven't looked at the Tennessee COVID one in a while. I mean, new, it's just... holy shit. New confirmed cases. Okay, August 23rd. So this was last week. 19,000 new confirmed cases on that day. Damn. You ever get the feeling that the GOP just wants to kill everybody? Yeah, although I wonder what they'll do if they actually succeed. They kill off themselves and their voter base. I think I told you it was on Sunday. There was... um. A headline I saw about something like, you know, anti-vax uh, or like lo- famous local pastor. Yeah. Anti-vax dies of COVID. Or uh, well, like well that. you're going to have to specify which one because there's been quite a few lately. huh? That's true. There have been quite a few. It's It's probably in here somewhere over the last few days. But yeah, it's just OK. Think about this. OK. And I know. I'm pulling the numbers out of my ass, but so is the GFP. So at this rate, so what the hell, right? Right. But if it wasn't for the number of people Trump killed with how close the election was, not only the popular vote, but because of the bullshit electoral college, it's very likely he would have won. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Yes, it is. Because this does seem to be after the that first wave. Turning more and more into an IQ test. Won't take a vaccine, but horse dewormer. Oh, just, yeah. Pop those pills. Yes. Remember, I say nay to horse dewormer. I saw, I, I've been reporting uh, everything that I see <laughs> on, like, Facebook and Twitter as misinformation when I see this pop up. But when, um, last week, there was, like, a, a surge on my Facebook page in all of the dipshits posting stuff about horse dewormer. Like, why won't the CDC test this? Why won't they even think about this? You know, I'm, I'm just like, oh, my God. And of course, you know, more and more people uh, who have tested positive and mm-hmm. regret not getting vaccinated or whatever. Like, fuck them. Yeah. I mean, if you genuinely cannot take the vaccine because you're allergic to it. Fine. Uh, yeah, you got to pass in my book. But these idiots that that think that's full of microchips, they're just dumb. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Oh no. Mm. Oh well, God, Mom. Uh-oh. Of course, I went to went on Facebook, and now uh, it's. Uh, what's she doing now? It's, oh my God. Oh my God. Comparing can't believe I'm about to say this. She posted a thing on Facebook comparing vaccine mandates to the Holocaust. To people having to wear the Star of David on their their shirt. Jewish people in Nazi Germany. Ever get the feeling that you're adopted? (laughs) Sometimes I wonder. Just report that. Yeah, it... If you ever visit, you're going to have to go past Sam's auction. And it is just 
compl- it's maggoty with Trump bullshit. I mean, there are a good dozen flags that they have hanging from the balcony of various, you know, don't blame me, I vote for Trump. You want my gun, come take it. Thin blue line, a um, couple Confederate flags, or the Confederate U.S. hybrid flag, which, if you think the Confederate flag is dumb, well, here's something even dumber, right? Yeah. Yep, I have. I mean, I, I've told you about the place that... Uh... I mean, now it's across the street from from my clinic. Like, I used to just drive past it, but now I can walk outside and look to see across the street what they're selling. <laughs> All right. So, yes, enough of, of the sad. Let's be angry now. Oh, well, oh, well uh, there is also one thing uh, that's kind of funny on my Facebook is that, okay, Florida man, uh, kid I knew in middle school uh, that went back to Florida. Yeah. Uh, uh, never really talked to him. He just added me one day. Never talked. Fine. Has been posting a lot of anti-COVID shit. Got COVID today. Got a positive COVID test. And <laughs> and very first thing is he puts an Indiegogo up because he talks uh, so much about you know uh, anti-socialism. You know you should pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. Oh no, I can't work for three weeks. Here, give me money. Yeah. Mind you, he can't hold down a job because he has anger issues and doesn't want to get medicated for it and doesn't want to seek help for it. He just, you know, he posts Joker beams because, you know, that makes him feel better. Because that's a you know, a well-balanced character that you should, uh, you know, uh, aspire to be, right? Right. Well, it's just kind of, I know it's horrible of me to laugh, but at the same time, ha ha. <laughs> yeah yeah and his indiegogo has 30 bucks in it <laughs> i just have no sympathy for those people no sympathy no empathy fuck them so anyway uh time to get the hate burning one on right yeah so let's let's be uh be angry so i i bought this this laptop and after like a you know it's like a christmas present to myself this this past year Mm-hmm. I've have enjoyed it, but you know, work from home the whole time. I would um either just use it in my recliner or sitting out in the living room. Um, but now that I'm going back to my office, I take it with me and I take my charger, you know, to and fro every day. Um and it it's a first world problem, right? I just want to get a second charger and leave it at my office. Um, that way I've got one at home, one at, at the office, and then I can just tote the laptop back and forth. It's a little bit easier, mm-hmm. a couple of steps involved every day and plugging it in and, and unplugging it and whatnot, you know. So I'm not looking for anything like fancy. I don't need a second like because uh, because the charger for this thing is it's a 180 watt power brick because um, it's got a, a GTX 1060. I mean, it's the mobile version, but of the gpu but still it can pull down a decent amount of wattage if it's running at full tilt and so without the power supply that can put out 180 watts it won't run full tilt that's fine most of the games when i'm playing it at work or lower power anyways like not a big deal doesn't bother me i accept that limitation so i bought a charger this saga has taken place over the course of a couple couple three weeks so i bought a charger um got it 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 didn't work it just didn't work um, it uh, had an, an adapter to plug into my laptop. There's a third party charger. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, that's annoying, but I can, you know, just return it and buy one from Acer. It'll be a little more expensive, but that's, that's fine. You know, I, I can do that. It kind of sucks that Acer, you know, doesn't have third party support or that there's something wrong with this one. Not sure. Not a super huge deal. I'll just I'll just return it, you know, pay whatever the restocking fee is, buy another one. So I did that. I returned it. I actually looked up the specific part number for my charger, bought a replacement or, you know, another one with that part number. Mm-hmm. Got it in the mail. Has a different connector to plug into really? a laptop. It's the same part number. Charger's the same part number. Mm-hmm. Different connector. So I contacted... Um, you know, them contacted them, the 
not Acer, but it, it's a, you know, a parts, like a PC parts, you know, store, like they have an eBay store, but they're, you know, just a company that has an eBay store, kind of like how you bought your laptop from whatever companies it was, eBay store, kind of like that. And they sell, you know, computer parts and accessories. I contacted them. I'm like, oh, that's really weird. Like, you know, what model of laptop do you have? So I sent them that and they were like, oh, this version of the Acer uh, Predator laptop uses a different connector end. Like, you know, we can either do a return or we can, you know, do an exchange for a different charger. Adapters don't work. They've got circuitry built in that if you're not using like a genuine Acer product, it it knows and it won't charge. I'm like, well, fuck. Fuck you, Acer, for that. Like, you know, having to buy your stupid proprietary charger. Fuck off. I'm not doing that. Fuck you, Acer. So I got to looking and it has charging over uh, USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, well, I've thought about buying a laptop hub. It'll certainly be low power. There aren't very many laptop hubs that can put out over 100 watts that I would care to pay for, but I could get one that puts out like 60 watts. That would be equivalent of what, um, you know, that little uh, offhand charger I was going to buy was going to work. Um, it charges over USB-C, which can only put out, I think it's 40 watts of power thunderbolt three can do up to a hundred watts but i believe usb c can only do 40 watts so i'm like okay like if it says it charges over usb c then it'll work if i get you know at least like a 60 watt hub and oh but see it's not it's not acer usb c right how did you how did you know so i get this usb hub right it's a really nice usb like docking they're called docking ports. I don't know why they're called docking ports. You don't, I mean, I guess you just plug it in. It's more like a hub, but I mean, it is really nice. Like it was like 150 bucks, high quality. It's got, um, three USB C ports, two USB 3.1 ports, two HDMI ports and one DVI port. So you can plug in, you know, a bunch of monitors to it. This is great. I mean, I guess it's just a leftover nomenclature from when, laptops had proper docking stations i know some of them still do but you know, yeah uh it's uh, easier to say uh it's a dock even though it's not really instead of right yeah but so so i you know i get it today i'm like sweet i'll just take this to work tomorrow and plug it in i'm like you know what actually i'm going to test it before i take it to work without my charger tomorrow mm-hmm. get it all set up plug it in get a little message that says your laptop is plugged into power, but is not charging. Really? God fucking damn it. Oh, so that's what that noise was. I thought I, know, I heard like, something. I messed with it for, for a minute. I'm like, okay, like maybe there's some setting, maybe there's something in the bios. Let me do a little research. And they were like, no, nope, no, nope. you, you have to like it. It knows if you're using a third party peripheral or not. And if you buy an Acer hub, which is like 300 bucks, it'll work. And I'm like, fuck you, Acer. (laughs) Just fuck off. Fuck all the way off. I will just tote my power supply around Mm -hmm. back and forth. I'm going to keep the hub, though. I really like the hub. I'm still going to take it to work um, because all of the other features of it work for, you know, plugging in multiple monitors and having it as a, you know, also a USB hub. Um, and I've got my work laptop, which I do have to use sometimes for some proprietary stuff that I can't install on my personal laptop. So I'm going to keep the hub and take it to, to my office and, and use it. I like it. It's very nice. Um, but fuck you, Acer. Bastards. I'm sure that there's some sort of hacky solution that you could do. Probably. And I'm going to look into it. But I got pissed off and wanted to throw it across the room. Yeah, I didn't well, do that. It's expensive, well, speaking, but I well, wanted to. Of laptops screwing people over, Adidas still he- waiting to hear back from HP. So, I might be poking around in that uh, yeah. laptop before too long. It's just kind of yeah, wait and see at this point. Yeah, uh, but it's been over a week, and it's kind of ridiculous just how long uh, they made her wait. I'm. 
I'm at least assuming that yeah, you know, her uh, ticket is in the queue, and it's not you know some sort of weird thing on uh, HP's thing. Yeah, because here's the thing: is that even to get the proper support number, you have to log in with a HP account, which requires the serial number from the, from a computer. So right, it's just yeah. Oof. And I'm not sure if I feel better about having an Acer now. Although mine's a little ultra book that doesn't even have a, a, a USB C on it, so. Yep, I've I've been doing some research. Well, it's some cursory research into the other models, and it seems like that for a couple of years they were doing a lot of proprietary stuff, and then they got a bunch of complaints. Under mm-hmm. you know, and they're not apparently doing that anymore. But I happen to have one of the year models when they were still doing pro- all of their proprietary stuff. And it seems like that only applies to their high-end stuff, mm-hmm. which is the Predator line and the Helios line. And, um, oh, they have one other performance line that I don't remember its name right off the top of my head. But, like, it really only applied to that because they have uh, dedicated graphics, you know, pretty pretty powerful ones that need extra power. And they would say, like, oh, well, you need extra power, so you can't just use... Any old charger, you need to have our stuff. It's like, no, I don't. I don't need that. Actually, thank you. Bastards. Yeah. Uh, it's all... uh, sort of, yeah, sort of like uh, Apple with all their dongles now, right? Yeah. Although Samsung's doing the same damn thing, so when I eventually have to replace my phone, very unlikely to get a Samsung at this point. Because I do like having uh, external... Uh, uh, extra memory. I like being able to plug in uh, headsets. Yeah, because uh, sometimes I get a a play test thing, and uh, the the way my computer headset is, I actually have a secondary cable that I could plug into it and plug into my phone and use it as a phone headset as or a headset microphone as well. Yeah, uh, for that sort of thing, but. If I was doing a uh, uh, the new Samsung, well, can't do that. Oh, it's amazing how much anti-consumer stuff there is, and people just take it, right? Yep. Which I know, I still buy shit off Amazon, but there's really no getting away from anti-consumer shit there, or anti-employee shit as well. Because think- if you're doing a deal with the devil, no matter what you do. Yeah, I think you have to pick and choose your battles. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the idea of there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, you know, applies in more than one sense of that that phrase. And an anti-consumer bullshit is is one of the ways that, you know, that that applies. And you just have to pick and choose your battles. And I'm not saying that, like, you should only do things that wouldn't inconvenience you. But sometimes you can only get something from some place or you need it now or you know because of an emergency or whatever and it's like you have to go there you know generally speaking i'm getting to where i try to shop more and more locally and small businesses and if there was places around here that were like that but in order to you know get any decent shops i gotta go on the far side of charleston which i'm looking at you know a bus ride (laughs) Yeah, and a full day ex- excursion or inconveniencing Anita, which you know she usually comes home pretty tired, and uh, she uses the weekend to recharge. So I don't want to inconvenience her with that. So right. yeah, it's also a financial thing. Like Amazon and other companies like that do benefit from both economics of scale and the fact that they can exploit cheap labor in you know other parts of the world, and so it is a lot cheaper to buy something from Amazon. A lot of the times, you know, compared to buying it from a local store or a more local store. And that's assuming that you can even find something. That's so, true. Because if I'm looking for something very particular, well, I'll have at least some choices on Amazon. If I'm looking for it here, I might have to hit several stores and may not even find it. Yeah. So uh, shall we start moving towards the podcast? Yeah, we should do our show. We should, we should do the show before I crash. I'm not there yet, but it'll happen, I'm sure. Um, okay. 
Have you got a Destiny up? Yes. I've had it up for like the last 45 minutes. Hey, me too. All right. Woo. So I, I, I didn't want to bring this up in the show just because it was the start of my next queue. I usually start the next one. Yeah. But I may be costing you money. Okay. What am I spending money on now? I'm going to drop in Discord, and if it pops up in my queue for next week, uh, so be it. But I wanted to make sure you, know, you knew about it. Uh, you, okay. Well, it's already on your wish list. I didn't scroll down far enough. Oh. Oh, yeah, Mecha Knights. Hey, at least I saw a Mech game and thought of you, right? Yeah. Yep, I will be getting uh, A Mech roller point. skating game. Because, right? I mean, yeah, I would play a Mech roller skating game. Has somebody described this as Mech roller skating? Uh, some of the uh, video uh, has some uh, roller skating. This feels or, somewhat like Armored Core. Well, it's kind of a mixture of like Mech and Mecha. Yeah. Because uh, there's like boost modules, it seems like, that uh, you uh, move a lot faster than what I would consider a Mech game. But it looks like it has some pretty decent customization as well. Yeah. It's kind of like skirting that line between Mech and Mecha. Which, yeah. It, it, in my mind, Mecha is like, you know, the anime style, you know, very fast, you know, essentially human robots, you know, they aren't clunky. They're very sleek. They're very elegant. They uh, move quickly. And mechs are ugly, slow, cumbersome machines of death. Sure, they may not have a, a burning sword that's uh, 70 feet tall that can slice through buildings in one swing. But, you know, they could just nuke you. <laughs> right? Sweet. But yeah, I saw that and thought of you. Thanks. You know me so well. Oh, that that one's pretty obvious. Big obvious face value. Mm -hmm. Would love. I mean, uh, the only way you would love it more is if the mech had just a giant dick on it, right? That would be preferable, yes. Giant mech dicks. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. All right. Did the thing. Save the thing. Recording. Done. Okay, and stop him on. Looks like I'm going to be in bed by midnight-ish, or very shortly thereafter. Won't be up super late, which is good. All right. Yeah, I'm doing my primary save now. I'm about eight hours into my 12-hour Oblivion retrospective that I've been watching. <laughs> Well, I've been watching Pro Jared go through the PlayStation 1 uh, Final Fantasies. Yeah. Anywhere... Yeah, it turns out you're amateur Jared. <laughs> That's fine. I can handle that. I can handle being amateur Jared. And also, yeah, he talked about Final Fantasy X as well, which I, yeah, I know not PlayStation 1, but I watched that one as well. Yeah. I mean... He's a lot kinder to Final Fantasy X than I, uh, than I was. Mostly because, yeah, I was a dumb kid when I played it. It didn't really get the nuance of the game, but at the same time, right? Yeah. Uh, he did agree with me on Final Fantasy VIII. Kind of sucked. It was a, a, a bit of a mess. Are these all like 15-ish long minute videos? Uh, or are they longer? Uh, about 30-ish minutes. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, each, I should say. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Although I guess it's good to know for sure. Yeah, I'm just double checking something. Uh, yeah, the Final Fantasy X one is thirty five minutes. Uh, the Final Fantasy VIII, the thumbnail is hilarious. <laughs> I think my favorite of that era though is still Final Fantasy IX. I hadn't gone back and watched the previous ones though because. Uh, I never played anything uh, in depth uh, before seven. Really need to at some point, but that's also not really a game club bull game, huh? Yeah. All right. I have got all of my stuff situated, except putting Craig to bed. Hi, you Craig. ready to bed, Cred? 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 Craig? Cred. Craig. <laughs> Craig. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Craig. <laughs>